So here I'll show you the process in Trimble Business Center for labeling polygons with their area. I'm going to start by making a new TBC project. Uh, for this data, I'm going to use a metric template. I'm going to drag and drop my feature code library into the project just because it's got all my font set up that I like to use, but that is a, an optional step. You can do this without having a feature code library in there first. Next, I'm going to bring in a CAD drawing with the polygons in it. And there we are. Just going to change my or check my view settings for my plan view. So I'm just going to change that to 1 to 200 scale. So in project settings view section then plan view to update that value okay on the drafting ribbon I want to update my label style for polygon labeling it's my polygon styles uh, this is just the default that you'll find in the label style manager uh, it's going to label the polygon name and the area uh, in this case if I just want the area I'll select the polygon name option and remove it. I pick an output layer for the labels to go on. You could of course um, create a new layer if you need to. Just a little tip if you're inside that box and you press spacebar it will open the dialog to uh, create a new layer in the layer manager. Anyway, I'll close that. So uh, text will be my will be my output layer. Uh, here's your font. So I'll go with a 1.8 MSS uh, font set up in my library. And um, the gap parameter isn't uh, appropriate for the, the, the polygon really, so we could set that to zero. A line spacing, again, there is only one line, so the line spacing isn't going to um, hold any relevance. So this is going to go to, let's pick the, the area here, so uh, the precision, go to the number of decimal places uh, that you want using the option here. Uh, it's going to show meter squared suffix here, but you can turn that off if you uh, wish. And I'll just go with center as the default position. So that's now done, set up, ready to go. I'm going to hit the polygons button on the drafting there. There's the, the style that we set up just a second ago called standard. It's going to go onto the text layer. You can again change that there if you want. Uh, you're going to use the multi select uh, option here. And you can use a, a box selection or a polygon selection if you're going to do a graphical selection. Or you can, of course, select by any of the options available here. Okay, so just another example. I'll do this area here. So I use a polygon selection for that. So to start a polygon selection, you left click and drag, release the mouse button, and then you can just click the left mouse button to proceed to finish your polygon selection with a double click. So it's selected everything inside there. Press add. And I can close that up now. And if I zoom in, I can see that each of these has been labeled with its area text. Again, you can just select a, an item of text and drag and move it if you need to for any of the 
labels that have been created.